Uh, here I am again, mucking around uh, once again with electrical things, my bike in particular. I've uh, done a couple of videos on this Motan fat wheel, 20 inch fat wheel electric bike, 500 watt, 48 volt, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good, it goes quite well. I bought it a few years ago. Being as old as I am, I <laughs> struggle a bit going uphill. It gives me lots of exercise. But lately I've wanted to try to increase power with it. Just recently, off eBay, I saw a second-hand uh, 750 watt motor going for sale. And I went and bought it. It was a bit cheaper, not quite, a bit more than half the price of a new one. But I uh, don't know what condition it was in, you know, I went and bought it on spec, thinking, oh, well, nothing much goes wrong with these things. But uh, I thought I might uh, swap it over, swap the 500 over for this one. Now, um, before I do any of that, I thought, well, I'll try it out. I bought a, another controller, I'm not using the bike controller, I bought a cheap one, off, another thing off eBay, one of these Chinese things. And I started uh, hooking, hooking it up to the, uh, the motor to see if I can get it running. And, uh, yeah, I've, you can see I've kind of uh, hooked things up there. I've got the, uh, the hall wires hooked up there to the hall wires of the uh, controller. I've just gone by colour, match colours. I assume that the controller's wired the same way. And the, the hall sensor wires... Uh, there now there's uh, six of them coming out of the motor there's only five on the controller on that uh, Molex connector there that uh, there's a spare one it's this white one here that comes out of the motor now um, yeah I haven't got a connection for that on the uh, controller that I know of I think that's a speed sensor that uh, eventually goes to your display, I suppose, and it works out how fast you're going. But uh, there's nothing that I know of that matches it on the controller. Anyway, I don't need that just to get it running. The other thing I've done is I've taken the the 48 volt 10 amp hour battery off the bike, and I've kind of uh, hooked it up to the power on the controller. And that's other wire there that's connected to it. That's the ignition wire that you've got to hook up to the positive. Yeah, these two things here are that's the throttle connector, the three throttle three throttle cables, and I imagine that the other one's the uh, speed controller. Yeah, I've marked these things with five volts. I've tried to work out what these what all these wires are going by color and sort of voltage readings and things anyway i'm going to start this up now the way i hook it up is i just short short out the uh the throttle control i might turn the battery on first might help and here we go shorting it out I don't know. I know geared motors are noisier than the uh, direct drive ones, gearless ones, but uh, I don't particularly like the sound of that. It sounds like the gears in that are fairly worn. I assume it's the gears. Might be the motor. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it apart. And we'll see what, what it's like inside. I don't know how many miles or how many k's this is done, could be quite old. Uh, and the uh, guy the solder obviously pulled it off his bike and was replaced with something else. So maybe it's worn out. Maybe I got done. Anyway, we'll see.
Okay, as you can see, I've undone the, the screws and I've managed to slip the uh, two part, two bits of the motor apart and now I can pull it off and there we go that's the electrical bit get this hammer out of the way and this is the geared section now this isn't the first time I pulled it apart before I shot this video I pulled it apart as a trial thing and I found that uh, the gears and so on were very very dry there was no lubricant on them and I actually lubricated them with some lithium grease put it back together again and it still made that noise I thought oh yes that's the solution the noise will go away but no the noise continues so I've got to pull this out and see if uh, maybe some of the bearings on the gears are crook because it's still quite noisy even with all that lubricant that I've sploshed around in there so there we go there's the uh, motor the electrical part of the motor so I thought the first thing I might try to do is uh, just see how that part runs what sort of noise that makes so uh, I'll try starting that up see how we go <laughs> Okay, that sounds fairly smooth. That's going quite fast there. And uh, no, it sounds alright. It is quite smooth to turn. Be a bit careful of this. Yeah, no, that seems to work alright. I don't want to go pulling off this part of it because I can see inside the coils and it doesn't look too bad in there. No, nothing burnt. And, and like I say, that seems to run all right. Okay, what to do next? So here's the bike, all in pieces. There's the back wheel. I've taken it off there. Bit of a job getting it off, trying to manipulate the uh, the chain and getting it off the cogs. There it is there. Now on the other side, you can see where I pulled the controller out. <coughs> this is the controller, the existing controller that comes with the bike. I'll turn it around the other way if I can. 48 volt, 17 amp controller. You can see I've undone the, uh, the phase wires there. Now I've tried, I've already tried the 750 watt uh, motor and hooked it up to this to see that uh, everything is kind of in line with the uh, 500 watter and uh, it works. Yes, it, uh, I've stuck it on there and I won't show you that, I'll show you that later on. But uh, I've I've sorted out the, the wiring and found that it all works, so I can install it at, uh, if I can get the uh, the other motor apart and put the new one in, 750 water. I've got the uh, wheel set up on the bench here, ready to take the motor out of uh, this hub. Now these screws I have tried before do not come off at all easily and when I pulled the other motor apart the 750 watt one I found that the screws had been locked tighted on so I had to resort to uh, another measure and what I did was I, uh, I took one of these bits off uh, an electric drill Phillips head winder and I found that if I kind of tapped it in like that and got the spanner on it that they came loose okay so 
that seemed to work. I had a lot more trouble with the other one. I had to resort to one of those impact drivers for the other one. This one's a little bit easier. I've undone a couple of them using this method. driver I ended up destroying the the head of a couple of the screws this one here is far more controlled I'm quite pleased with this yes they're coming up I'm doing wonderful okay I won't bore you with that part of it much longer I'll turn the camera off and we'll proceed to the removal. The last of the screws removed. Do the seal, there's a, an o-ring under this that keeps dust and stuff out. And there we go. There it is. Lows. Now this motor's done quite a few k's on the bike. It's a bit of a different motor. The other one, the 750s, the magnetic area comes all the way to the housing. So you've, uh, Similar fit, but uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll compare the two. Put that down there. Now there's the difference in the two motor bodies. You can see the difference in size of the uh, the magnets. Well, the the cylinder that contains the magnets. Now the motor's uh, identical in other aspects except for the, the actual motor part. This is much wider. But they both fit into the same housing, so putting this in place of this one should be quite easy. And I'm about to do that. But before I do that, I must check on the condition of the planetary gears and how much grease is on them. This has done about uh, 2,000 k's this motor on the bike. It still goes nice and smoothly. There's no noises there. Yeah, it's interesting. So I take the, the one off the second hand one that I bought. It's spinning this. is quite noisy. Anyway, okay. I just managed to pull the gears off the 500 watt motor checked it all out. When I spun this on the shaft it was very very quiet and when I test the clutch the noise she's everything's beautiful and smooth. Now compared that to the one that I pulled off the 700 watt motor the second hand one it was actually sold as a new one but uh, when I pulled it apart, this thing had no lubrication in it, and it made a noise when I tried it. And if if I try to uh, spin the clutch mechanism, I can feel terrible roughness in there. And if I spin it fast, it actually makes a noise. But I can't do that on the finger. But oh, you can feel the uh, whatever's inside this clutch, which you can't pull apart because it's all riveted together. Uh, whatever's inside is rough. You can actually feel the uh, the roughness. So this is no good. The clutch part's no good. The planetary gears still seem okay, but this bit. So if I'm going to recondition, or if I'm going to have two motors, I'm going to have to get the new set of planetary, not planetary gears. I'm going to have to get a new clutch assembly. 
which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, now to, to assemble the gears, they're identical in both motors. Lubrication's a bit dry. Bit of a different system there, but uh, if you compare the two, but uh, I'll lubricate this a bit and put it onto the 700 watt motor, 750 watt motor. I'm applying some uh, lithium grease to all of these. That uh, doesn't uh, affect the nylon gears. This is the, the grease I've got, it's fairly runny, the grease that was already on there obviously was reasonably solid, so I don't want to take it off, there's still grease on it, the lubrication is still not too bad on this one. And I'll lubricate the inside gear as well. just uh, installed the gear cluster from the 500 watt motor onto the 750 watt motor and this one oh, runs smoothly. The one that was on here when I spun it like this made a noise, you could hear it. So The uh, clutch assembly on that other one is shot. Anyway, that's uh, beautiful. Time I've greased it up cleaned everything else out and it's time to insert it into the housing. Okay, as you can see the uh, new motor's in there, that slid in very easily and now it's just a matter of uh, putting the screws back in. The next part will be fitting it back on the bike. I've got to remove the cluster gear off the old housing and uh, put it on this one, or I might get a new cluster gear. The gear cassette is what I'm talking about. And uh, stick it back on the bike and see if this uh, more powerful make it, motor makes any difference. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've put... Uh, the bike together again temporarily sort of this is the motor upgrade this has now got the 750 watt uh, internal bit fitted and I have just put it on the bike to try it out uh, I've had to take the brake off because it uh, needs readjustment it didn't sort of uh, fit properly when I put it in there, the brake was gripping the wheel, the disc, so I've got to sort of realign that. And I haven't got the uh, cluster on it yet, I'm just trying it out to see if it works first of all. And to do that, what I had to do was uh, hook up the cable that comes off this motor to the controller. It's on the bike, fits in that little hole in there. Now I've made up some uh, kind of adapter leads to sort of go from the, uh, the sensor wires. You can see the sensor wires sort of to the sensor wires of the controller. I've kind of labelled some of the cables coming out so that I know what's what. But uh, okay, so I'm about to try it out, see how it goes. Okay, here's the test. I've had to uh, put the camera down so that I can lift the thing. Alright, that's turned on. Key there, battery. And uh, I've put it on throttle mode so that I can try it. And lifting the back wheel up. Turning it. Whoa, there we go. Oh, yes. Runs. Quite nicely. Ok, 
okay. I can't break them. I don't have to break on the ground. Ooh, damaging the carpet. Well, there we go. That's as much as I can do at the moment. The next thing I've got to do is put the, uh, the gear cassette on and hook up the chain, hook up the brakes, and uh, just rejig my loom a little bit so that it all can fit back into that uh, very cramped space that we've got for the controller. If I wanted to put a bigger controller on here, I'd have to fit it externally. Bit of a pain. They've made a, a very narrow uh, compartment, or well, very small compartment for the, for the controller. Purpose built, obviously. I can't really do much other than uh, fit another one externally if I'm going to do it. Yep, yeah, okay, well, that's it for this movie. The next uh, video that I take is probably a test run once I've got the uh, cassette on and hooked everything back up again. But in the meantime, she runs, she runs on this controller, that's of course with no load on it, and uh, with this battery, which is the 48 volt 10 ampere battery. Okay, thanks for watching.